the circuit diagram consists of three parts the first part it is of the power source so for the power source we are using uh, 12 piezo electric modules uh, to charge the battery of 12 volt and it is of uh, rectified and regulated and it is used to supply the arduino with 5 volt and the second part it consists of the sensors and the microcontrollers and the sensors they take uh, input as the physical quantities and convert them to the digital form so that the microcontrollers could uh, regulate their values and take appropriate actions an LCD is interfaced with the microcontroller and the LCD is working in the 4 bit mode and there is a, a Wi-Fi module connected the Wi-Fi module is used to send the data uh, co collected by the sensor to the internet and the main and the third part of the circuit is the output part uh, where the actions are being taken so there is a thermal electric module in this project it's the Peltier module so it is connected to a relay so in this project by default we are using uh, cooling so the microcontroller takes input from the Arduino uh, from the LM35 sensors and the microcontroller sends the data and process it and if the temperature is uh, more than 35 degrees Celsius the thermo electric module starts to operate and when it is less it switches off so uh, this is our project a smart adaptable jacket with location tracking so this is the full uh, circuit of the project so let us uh, now the components one by one this is the uh, GSM module this is for sending the messages and this is the GPS module it's for location tracking and we are using uh, two uh, microcontrollers for this project Arduino Uno and this is Arduino Nano and this is the LCD screen which shows the parameters and these are the sensors that we use this is the accelerometer this is the heart rate sensor and this is the temperature sensor and this one it's the Wi-Fi module it sends the data to the internet and this is a temperature regulator IC and it's for regulating the voltage to the circuit and this is the relay module which is used for manually switching the Peltier circuit and this is the entire Peltier circuit you can see this is the battery which powers the circuit and we have a fan we have a heat sink and on the downward side of the circuit it's the Peltier module which cools the jacket so that's the thing about the uh, circuit and this is the piezoelectric uh, module which is used to charge the circuit let us see the parameters so we can see uh, the parameters are displayed on the LCD screen so the LCD is operating on 4 bit mode and that's enough to show all these parameters it shows the heart rate, uh, the position and the temperature and this is the emergency switch which is used to send the emergency message uh, in case of emergency as the name suggests and this is the uh, buzzer so let us see what happens if I press this emergency switch so it's like this I'm going to press it and uh, let's see my screen so you can see the message I will demonstrate it once more just it will take around 5 seconds for the message to see it's the emergency alert and uh, the message is triggered for three parameters that is the heart rate the position and the temperature so the message is triggered when the heart rate goes over 100 
and the message is uh, triggered when the position is less than 300 which generally means the soldier is unconscious and when the temperature is well over 39 degree celsius the message is triggered uh, now we will uh, check the working of this uh, pelletier circuit so we are just providing heat to the temperature sensor so you can see just so the temperature is triggered and the fan is working and on the other side i cannot show you but this side is being cooled so now let us check the uh, working of this piezo electric module this around 12 piezo 12 to 14 piezo electric modules are there and it is used to charge the battery shown before so to show that it's working I, uh, we have connected an led so if we apply the pressure the led glows now uh, you can see the parameters being lively monitored uh, from a distance you see the first chart it shows the position across the time period and the second chart the graph shows the uh, heart rate around the time period the third one shows the temperature so this is a private channel so this uh, data would be in the hands of the authorities so they can monitor the condition of the soldiers and strategize according to that and this uh, data is uh, easily exported that is if you want to uh, combine the data you can just export it directly and it will be stored in your PC or the device which you are using so the sound is nothing but the temperature being triggered so the buzzer it sounds till the message reaches the mobile phone so that's it about the project and to show that this heart rate sensor is placed between our fingers so that the blood circulation between the arteries is uh, being counted so you can see the heart rate is varying around 92 uh, around 92 beats per minute so when it is over 100 it will trigger a message so that's it about the project thank you